All righty, team. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it's December and it's like 19 days or 20 days away from Christmas. Like things are just happening so fast. 2017 is like on the, the cusp of being over. And today I know you guys have been so busy and I'm sure your back office is showing you the cookies and cream shenanigans, but I have not moved from this seat all day. And I originally sat up here this morning. I was like, I'm going to do a little bit and then I'm going to go to my office. And nope, it's just been a day of talking to people and text messaging people and Facebook messaging people, which excites me because apparently cookies and cream is a really exciting flavor for people to try some protein shakes. So I'm going to turn the call over um, to Alex here in just a second. But just a couple of things that I wanted to just share that seemed to be a little bit in the forefront of my mind and um, some fun tips, you know, things that I'm hearing are just ideas for the end of the year. But first of all, I just got back from the Influencer Summit with Kisa and Jen Feichter and Eric Rory did this training and there are going to be some great things coming out in 2018 for this team. Um, right after this, we're doing a call with just the executives to kind of brainstorm what we learned and then as a team work together to create some awesome campaigns, some awesome marketing materials, some grow weeks or blitz weeks for the team, but to really treat 2018 in a way that we're really proactive with our business and not reactive. I know that sometimes you see me at the last minute throw out free shipping or we're like, we're going to do a social media blitz and everyone's like, wait, oh, like I didn't plan for that. And collectively as a team, we want to map out the calendar so that you can plan what's coming in January or February, know when our rank advancement weeks are coming, you know, when we're going to do social media stuff, different product campaigns, different skill campaigns. So just be on the lookout for that. Huge congratulations to so many of you that signed up for the manager campaign. I'm loving the energy in the page. You guys crushed your get one. Uh, challenge yesterday. You're doing awesome with the Tuesday transformation. Just a lot of engagement in there. But I think you're going to see a lot more of those because um, it's a simple way to just get people into action and alleviate the overwhelm. Um, 71 of you um, committed to that. So that's super fun. And most of you are actually on this call. So that's why I'm bringing it up. Just really, really proud of all of you. And the last thing to really think about as we go into the end of the year, you guys, the championship challenge is not over yet and that's done in a few weeks but i watch that leadership board and i watch those team points it is changing all the time every one of you is still eligible to go for that and there's great prizes along the way that this is not the time to coast like put your foot on the pedal and just make 2017 the rest of you know the year the best of the year it's such a fun time for me and for the team to really get involved with isogenics and part of it is because people need us People need us physically and they need us financially. The amount of people stress over Christmas because of money, like I don't believe people should feel that way. And we have a gift. We have a way to get people paid so fast. I mean, Melanie and I, I think have done five calls in 24 hours with her girls going, oh my gosh, I'm going to help you get this Christmas bonus. And she just has this posture that I'm pretty sure 99% of what we said they checked out for, but they heard Christmas bonus and they were excited. I mean, that's what we get to do for people. And today, looking at some of the text messages when we're like, oh my gosh, I've got this amazing protein shake that you can have your treats and not gain weight over the holidays. Like people are buying protein shakes out the wazoo to not have the you know sugar cookie tummy. So just really keep sharing isogenics. And on that note, remember that if people are gonna start in the new year, even if they're telling you, I'm gonna do it in January. I'm gonna do it in January. Number one, get their enrollment information. And number two, get permission to place the order before Christmas Eve because with holiday shipping and weekend shipping, they're going to want their products on the first to start. So when people are saying, hey, I'm gonna do it then, I'm gonna do it then, and say, I totally understand it. I'd love to get your information right now. And are you okay with me placing it on the 23rd? Or is it okay if I run it on the 22nd because I want it to ship on time? I want to make sure everything you need is on your doorstep. You've got plenty of time to prepare that come January 1, you've got everything you need. I mean, just be really upfront and proactive with it. And you'll see how many people are hopping on board. And if you ever think of people that don't want to start in December, Jenny Elo, who is the godmother of our team, started in December, right? And I always think, what if Cindy had not reached out to her and it had to do with going to a holiday party and none of her dresses were going to fit and she didn't want to buy a bigger size. So she did a nine day. I mean, that's really what launched her business. So December is an amazing time to start. So with no further ado, I get to introduce Alex Sabbat, and she is our little Christmas miracle isogenics baby. Um, she has a great story, which she'll share with you. She's frozen at the moment, so I hope that she will. Oh, 
maybe not. Um, hopefully in a second she'll be able to talk and we'll hear her and everything. But Alex is a two-star golden circle. She is someone that has perseverance. She has grit. She has patience. She has the warmest heart of anybody I know. If you ever have a chance to get to meet Alex, honestly, you're going to feel like you met your best friend overnight. She loves you. She's genuine. She's compassionate. But she also has a fire to totally design her life, totally design her family's life. And I'm excited to hear from her tonight. So I'm going to mute and let you take it away, girl. But I had a feeling that it happened. Is it frozen on all of your guys' ends? And I was like, so she'll hang up and call back in. Um, I literally could tell that that had already happened. She'll have to listen to the recording as I introduce how amazing and special she is. Um, oh, maybe? Looks like she's moving, maybe not. Um, okay, so then one other food for thought for all of you guys, NYKO. You guys, if you're not going, you gotta go. You gotta figure out a way to get there. I know some of you, I'm texting, I'm all over you, like bombarding you about the importance of this. Here's why. Number one, it's gonna be the best event that you have ever seen in Isogenics history. Some of the things that are coming out with products, with the apps, with um, forecasting, I mean, it'll be absolutely game changer. Number two, this is going to put you in momentum. You know, if you've never had training, if you've never, um, hey, Rachel, can you text Alex to just message her to call back in? Um, she said it kicked me off, but I just want her to know that I saw it. Um, it's absolutely important. It builds your belief. It builds the culture. But one of the things that Eric Rory did that was so profound is he literally talked about the people that go to events. And each year, the people that stop going and stop going and stop going, and the ones that stay, that go back year after year after year, what's actually happening with this compound effect with their income and where leaders are born. And I know some of you have kids. I know some of you that it's an expensive time of year after the holidays. Whatever you have to do to get there, get there. And I know sometimes you've heard me say, you know, do double pibs, do triple pibs all week long. You just enroll like crazy. But if some of you are not, you know, gonna bank on being able to enroll a lot of people in December, have a garage sale. Take all your clothes to Plato's closet. I mean, go donate blood or plasma. I mean, I was listening to this call. Laura Stevens was giving all of these examples. But you guys, you can put six, eight people in a hotel room I and mean, get an air mattress, get cots, I mean, sleep sideways, do whatever, whatever it is. There's a coupon right now for the event ticket to be cheap. We have contests out the wazoo from corporate and from me that you can win a free ticket. In the flights, if you're in Denver or anywhere nearby, the flights into Phoenix are so extraordinarily cheap. I mean, do a two-day cleanse when you're there. But I would just encourage you guys, all the reasons that you're telling yourself why you can't go is truly from the bottom of my heart, the reasons why you can go. And if there's anything I can do in the next month to help you get there, you know, if there's anything I can do to do calls with your people, text with your people, um, to ensure that you can get there and make that money, I will do whatever I can. That's how important it is that I think that you guys be there. And Ken, um, talk to Laura because I think she's going to fly to Denver and then to Phoenix because she figured out a cheaper way. He's telling me how expensive it is from St. Louis. So um, I'm not entirely sure. But when there's a will, there's a way. So Alex, I gave you a really, I think, nice introduction. Um, but you'll have to listen to the recording to hear it. So it's all you. <laughs> Sorry about that. You guys kicked me off. I, I'm so excited about the cookies and cream. I'm with you. It has been quite a day. Holy cow. This has to be like the best flavor out there, guys. So if you have not grabbed yours, do it, do it, do it. Um, okay, so I'm going to kick off tonight with a couple of stories. Um, that's one of my favorite parts of our calls is the stories. Um, we get to hear from first the beautiful Kisa. And she's going to share her experience with us. Um, she, like Lauren said, she was just at the Influencer Summit. And we all saw that. So we were just loving watching your journey while you were there. So we would love to hear your story tonight, Kisa. Thanks. Now, you want my business story, right? Yes, please. Okay. I just wanted to be sure. So thanks, guys. And yes, cookies and cream, best flavor. If you guys have not grabbed it, do. Because I... Every single time, people are like, oh, I'll get one or two, and then, you know, by February, you're going to be out, and who knows when they're going to have it again. This is the second time this year they've done it, so probably won't come again for a little while, but um, thanks, Alex, for asking me on tonight. I appreciate it. So, you guys, I was introduced to Isogenics back in May of 2014 by Lauren. We'd gone to high school together and were um, connected just through Facebook. She lives in Cal or Colorado. I live in California. So that was really the only kind of link to us was social media. 
And I had seen some posts that she had done about some people that had had transformations. And so I reached out to her to find out what she was doing because I was just curious and wanted to lose a couple pounds, a couple inches. Um, we talked on the phone. She mentioned on the phone call along with how amazing the products are that there's this amazing opportunity. Um, but you know, I wasn't overly convinced at that moment. I had already tried a different product uh, about a month before and I didn't have that great of success on it. So I just, and I really, to be honest, wasn't in a financial position to, um, to make the leap. So I put it on the back burner. Um, and if you know Lauren, you know how persistent she is. So she was extremely persistent with me. I think maybe 14 times she reached out between texts or emails or Facebook messages. And um, finally in May, I said yes. And right off the bat, put the products in my body, had a great product experience, and just kind of you know, knew that, okay, I'm in love with the products now. I can really take a deeper look into what the opportunity is. So that's really what I did. I shared with a couple friends. I became a consultant fairly quickly. Um, and uh, within maybe the first month, I think it was about 30 days in, I started to really do some research into what the opportunity of isogenics was. And I really saw that this was, you know, that I had a passion for the products. I had a passion for helping others. And I was a single mom working full time um, in an insurance office. And even though I was getting, oh, 11 times, sorry, I, oh, 100 and, oh. <laughs> um, I said 14, I was wrong, I forgot it was 11. Um, but I, I'm a single mom and then I was working full time at an insurance office, not making a ton of money, especially in California. No, the cost of living is pretty high, but I, um, just felt like there was a deeper calling on my heart. So I did whatever I could to learn more about the company, um, events. I know this is longer than my 30 second story. Sorry, sorry, Alex, but events are super important. Lauren really pushed to get me to an ICU within my first, I think, 45 days. And that was a huge game changer. I brought Andriana, who was my first enrollment with me. And that was really where we got to feel the culture, learn. I mean, you can learn so much in two days, more than you can learn just watching videos um, and being interrupted constantly. And you get to spend time with people. You get to meet people. Um, and that was really where I knew, okay, this is something that – I needed to pursue. Um, and just a side note, I did not have a lot of money. I, you know, my cost of living was really high. I have still to this day, I really have no idea how I made it to that event. I mean, Lauren gifted me a ticket. I think I stayed in her room with her. Um, but you know, it's still expensive to fly and to, to buy food and whatnot. And if, some some way I made it happen. So if I can do it, you know, there's so many people on this team. If you guys are wondering how you're going to get to New Year's kickoff, don't hesitate to reach out to someone because people can think of alternate ways of getting you guys there. Like Lauren said, a garage sale or other means. Um, and I know that there are a lot of people on the team willing to help. So don't hesitate to reach out. If it's something, if it's possible for you to go, you're just wondering what the how is, you know, we'll help you with that. But anyways, um, so, you know, it was a lot of hard work over a couple of months, uh, just really starting to learn a lot about the products, about the company. And um, about a few months in, I think I was able to finally go down to part time um, at my job, which was my first goal. And then I think about nine months into the business, I was able to quit my job altogether. But, you know, that's not necessarily the norm. I, I know that I worked really, really hard. And I think that Lauren can attest to that, that I put a lot of energy and effort and time into working this business. But I knew, you know, that it would it would pay off and it certainly has. So over the last three and a half years, there's definitely been times where, you know, I've, I've slowed down and I haven't always been as consistent, you know, life happens and, and things happen, but I think that, you know, it won't always be easy, but it will always be worth it. And you'll come out at the end knowing that we have the best company. We have the best founders um, and co-founders. I mean, Lauren and I were just with Jen at the influencer summit and our company is honestly just hands down. I've never seen a company that cares so much about their associates and just gives and gives and gives. So 
um, I kind of rambled a little bit, sorry, but <laughs> thanks for letting me share my story. I hope I encourage some of you guys or inspired some of you. Thank you. That was awesome. No, you didn't ramble at all. I think that more and more people um, that join these calls can relate to exactly what you were saying, being so busy and strapped for money. And it's just it, the, the power that it has is just unbelievable. So thank you for being so It's hard to share four years of a story into 30 seconds. So, you know, especially when there's just so much to say. So thank you, Kisa. We're also going to hear from the beautiful Christina. She's had such an amazing transformation. We have watched her um, just completely blossom into this beautiful woman. Um, and I just love her story so much. So I'm really excited for you guys to hear it tonight as well. Christina, are you out there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm so excited to be sharing my story with you guys. And thank you, Alex, for inviting me um and i agree with what everybody else is saying cookies and cream is just incredible i'm so excited about it um but my isogenic story starts about two and a half years ago and i was also one of those people um strapped with cash i was just about eight weeks before my wedding and i had been crash dieting um exercising like crazy watching what i ate um trying very unhealthy ways to lose weight and I was getting no results and I've always struggled with my weight. So it was just really frustrating and the beautiful Rachel Meyer introduced me to Isogenics. She knew that I was just killing myself and I really was, you know, strapped on money, but I really just had no, um, I just, wanted something, needed something. And I really did her on it. I jumped on right away. And, um, my plans were to send it back after the 30 days so I could get my money back. And it was incredible. Um, within the first week, my, my health just changed completely. I really didn't notice a whole lot of weight loss immediately, but I noticed that I was sleeping better. I, um, had more energy and just a few weeks later, I started melting. It was incredible. And um, I felt really, really good. Um, fast forward two and a half years later, it's changed my life completely. Um, released over 80 pounds and I'm still working towards my 100 pound weight loss goal. Um, but I just cannot believe this is me. It's been so life changing. It's been so just humbling and um, exciting. And I still can't believe it's me sometimes. Um, but I just can't see where my life would be without this, uh, knowing where, where I've been and what I've tried to do. Um, and it makes me cry because I, it just blows my mind. It, it makes me happy. And um, I'm thankful to Rachel every day, to Lauren every day, to you all for being loving and supporting just because, um, you know, I, I couldn't have done it without you guys. And I truly believe that the support and the love from this team and along with our incredible products and a lot of hard work and sacrifice have, you know, came to this point. So I know that if I can do it and if anybody else can do it, it's just amazing. So thank you. Wow, girl. I think everybody's in tears. <laughs> thank you. We are just so moved by your story. And I think, um, I think you said something really powerful that you couldn't have done it without this, this team, this community. And I think that's a really important point that everybody needs to remember is that we are all here to support you on your journey. So thank you for sharing that, Christina. That was amazing. I am so glad you were able to share your story tonight. Um, before we kick it off, I'm going to share my screen really quick. Um, hopefully this works. Bear with me. Okay. Um, Lauren, can you see my screen? Okay. Um, I'm going to take you guys um, into ISA products really quick, really quick, Isogenics products, because I want to show you, for those of you that don't know, you can easily search products. Um, this is kind of a side note, but I wanted to show you guys this because there are so many products that Isogenics offers that we don't know about. Um, and I think a lot of people don't know about the product of the week, which is the multi-enzyme complex. And this is something that um, many, many people use. 
um, but they just buy it at Vitamin Cottage or they buy it at Whole Foods. It's a digestion enzyme that many people need. Lots of people struggle with digestion. Um, but I think that people don't realize that Isogenics has created one as well. And so I wanted to show you guys um, isogenics.com slash products. If you go in here, you can browse products and it's going to show you all of the ingredients, all of the facts, all of that stuff. But I wanted to just like live pop on here and show you guys this because you can search all the products right here and just find what Isogenics has to offer. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick while I was sharing the product of the week. Um, but let me get back to, hold on, I can't see my whole screen because you guys, your face is covering it up. All right. So anyway, so the enzyme complex is the product of the week. So I want to touch on that really quick. Um, you know, a lot of people feel, um, you know, sort of the digestion discomfort when they eat, even when they drink the shakes, it can happen, right? Your body doesn't always know how to digest all the protein, all of the carbohydrates, all of that kind of stuff. So enzymes can be very helpful in that. It helps you not only break all of that down and absorb it, but to make sure that your body is absorbing all of the nutrients that that food has to offer. So if you haven't tried this and you do struggle with that, you do feel a little discomfort after you eat, um, this can be a great thing to add into your daily routine. So I wanted to show you guys what the bottle looks like so that you guys can go and grab it in your back office because this is a very, very powerful product for people that struggle. So I wanted to show you guys that real quick as well. Okay, so we're gonna dive into the call, you guys. Um, before I do that, um, I want to sort of share my story and I, hold on one second, stop share so you can see my face. Okay. Hi. Um, I want to share my story, but you, most of you guys have heard my story before, but I want to just share parts of it that I haven't really touched on before. Right. Um, so just sort of an overview of where I've come from and how I got here. Um, I have now been using Isogenics products for three years and it's been a journey. I think there's no other way to describe it. Um, when I started Isogenics, I was a busy mom, um, you know, overweight to the point where I was just uncomfortable in my skin. You know, it was just enough to not be happy. And I was feeling sluggish and tired, lethargic. I was a teacher as well, high school teacher. So I needed my energy and I did not have it. Um, and I was just so busy, so busy. So this came into my life at the perfect time. Um, although it did come into my life when we had financial stress as well. So that was a double whammy, right? I was not feeling great, but I also had the financial side of this happening. So um, my husband and I, both teachers, were struggling, and it was this time exactly three years ago, right before Christmas. And I know many of you have heard the story before, but I'll just share it again, um, because it was my reality, and I think people can relate to it, especially right now. I was having conversations with my husband about um, Christmas, you know, how are we going to afford presents for the kids? We had talked to our parents about having them help us. Um, those are conversations that are not, ha you know, they don't have those. They're very humbling. And it's, um, it's, it's something that you don't have, you lose a lot of pride in yourself. Um, make sure that this line is muted. I think it might be you, Christina. Can you mute? Sorry, sweetie. I'll do it, Alex. You can keep going. Um, so we were going into this, the holiday season feeling very defeated, feeling very stuck. And so Isogenics came into my life right then. Um, my mom actually bought my first pack because I could not afford it. And I decided I wasn't going to do it alone. I was going to grab my two accountability partners and do this with my mom and my sister. So they both signed up with me and supported me in this um, new journey. And within the first couple of weeks of having my products, I obviously felt amazing. I dropped 10 pounds in the first couple of weeks just because I was holding on to all of the stress and toxins. And it happened so quickly and I was shocked because I was waiting for it to fail. So when that happened, um, I was feeling on top of the world. But what I was still stressed about was money. And within the first couple of weeks, Isogenics emailed me and said, congratulations, thank you for having accountability partners and bringing two people with you. You've now been paid $300. 
And it was a moment of um, disbelief and it was a moment of um, urgency, if you will. I grabbed my ISA wallet card, which I know most of you guys have, and I went and got into my minivan and drove to Target. And I walked up and down the aisles of Target, throwing toys into the cart for the kids with tears streaming down my face. Raw moment for me as a mom. Um, and I got to check out hoping that the card would work because again, I was in disbelief. I didn't think it was gonna work. And when I swiped it, it approved, right? So that was the moment that I decided I was never gonna go through something like that again. Well, that's typically where I end my story my 30 second story. But what I don't talk about is, and what I need to talk about more is that I had found a solution. I had found residual income. I had found this new way, but my mindset was still not right. And that's something that takes time. And when I went into this, I was in a place of defeat and pain and sadness and that doesn't just change overnight. That doesn't change with a cleanse day. That doesn't change quickly. And so it has taken three years to really figure out what does Alex need for personal development and mindset. So I want to share that with you guys because I think it's a real um, piece to when you're introducing people to isogenics when they first start. Most people that come into isogenics are not going to have a great mindset. They're going in with physical pain. They're going in to start a weight loss journey, which is one of the most emotional journeys you can take. They're going in with financial pain. Um, they're going in with some sort of life transition or some sort of loss or, I mean, there's gonna be something going on with them and that's okay. That's why this is so beautiful because this is a solution for anybody. Anybody dealing with something like that is going to feel so good with these products, right? But we can't just let them start and drop them. We have to guide them on personal development and we have to guide ourselves. We have to allow ourselves to have that personal growth journey and don't beat yourself up because you haven't done the work. So what I want to do tonight is really dive into sort of your toolbox of things to use um, your go-tos for personal development as you're building your business, as you're losing your weight, as you're coaching your people. Um, I go back to some of the same resources that I went to in the beginning, but I go to them for different reasons now, but they're still valuable. So I want to give those to you so you have them as a go-to because they are going to help you all along the way. Your journey never ends. Three years now into this, my journey is still very much in effect so it's never ending and that's okay you never want to stop growing so I want to give you the basics that I love to use that I tap into every day every month every year um, so you have them and then you pick and choose what's working best for you um, and then you have things to offer to your people as well so that's sort of what tonight's going to be about. Um, my, I want to sort of second what um, Kisa said about her first event, how it was, that was it. I almost didn't make it. I think every single part of my trip was paid for by somebody else. Like I, I got so lucky, um, but I walked into that room and came out a totally different person. And that was only a month and a half into using the products. That was the moment that I realized that personal development is a real thing. I had never even touched it before, right? So when I went to that event, um, I signed up for the next event. And at that second event, I heard for the first time that you can only grow your business to the extent you grow yourself. Now that is written on my vision board, it's on my phone, because I never wanna stop growing myself if I wanna grow the business, right? So. I think that goes the same for your health. You cannot improve your health if you're not improving your mindset. It can fit in any scenario. So I just want you guys to hear that. You cannot, you, you can only grow your business to the extent you grow yourself. That is something to remember. Um, and I heard that from David Wood at University in Action. That was my second event. And it was all about personal development. And that kickstarted this entire thing for me. So that's where I want to start tonight. 
Um, I'm going to share my screen again because I've put it on slides so that you guys can see it, write it down. I want you to write this down. I'm also gonna put this into the Dreamers in Action file so you have a list of resources, so you have links and all of that stuff. But I just wanna show you kind of what's in my back pocket. Um, and then I would love to know what you guys are also using because I'm sure there's other things that I haven't done that I could be doing and that we could all collaborate on. But let me go ahead and jump in and share here. Let me start. Okay. So when you get to personal development, hold on one second. Okay, I can't see you guys anymore. Lauren, can you tell me if you see it? I can't see your face. Sorry. Yes, yes, sorry. We can see everything. I'm muted, but. Okay, as long as you can see it, cool. Okay, so the question is, where do you start? And I think a lot of people feel that way, especially if they've never done personal development before. So with Isogenics specifically, the number one thing that you're gonna start with is your events. And I know you hear that all the time, but get to an event. There is one coming up in January, the NYKO. Oh my gosh, this was my first event three years ago. So it looks overwhelming. It feels overwhelming. You don't know what you're walking into, but you guys, events are everything. They really are an umbrella to personal development. They talk about every single piece that you need to learn about. So New Year's kickoff is really powerful because it helps you define your goals for the year. And then how are you going to achieve them? And so it's the best way to start. Doesn't mean it has to be the way you start. You can start at any event, but this one, the fact that it's coming up in just a few weeks is so important. So make sure you make a note of it, buy your ticket, use the coupon that Lauren was talking about, get that discount, get to this event. This will help you really structure your next year and taps into all this personal development stuff that you can be using daily. So that's the first one. I wanted to just do this plug because this is coming up. I do want to go briefly through all four core events because I know that there are some new people still learning these and I want you guys to see them. Um, so the next event is Isogenics University. And I think this is the one that Kisa went to and it just changed everything for her. Um, I'm not sure which one it was, Kisa, but um, I'm pretty sure it was ICU. And I totally agree with her. This is one of those events where especially the people, I know I've got some on this call who, who love knowing the details. They want to know the information. They want to know the specifics of the products, the specifics of the comp plan. How do I do it? How do I do it? How do I do it? This event is that. This is exactly what this is. It's smaller than your bigger events, so it's going to be more intimate. You're going to get a lot of information. And once again, they're going to push on you personal development. Every event, it's a common thread, you guys. You cannot you cannot be successful on this journey if you are not growing yourself. You cannot assume you know it all, okay? So Isogenics University is a must, absolute must. The next one is University in Action. So I spoke about David Wood. David T.S. Wood is the Isogenics Master Trainer, and his event is specifically designed to help you grow. It is two and a half days of full-on personal development. Um, you're going to learn some things about the compensation plan. You're going to learn that kind of stuff, but it's mostly about learning about yourself and learning how to connect with people and really digging deep and understanding where you need to grow. He talks about the five areas of belief that every person needs to work on in order to be successful in this business. And those five areas are the belief in the products. So being a product of the products. Um, the belief in the company. So learning about Isogenics, understanding where they've come from, um, all of their accolades, what they've done in the world so far. It's just amazing. Um, and then the believe in network marketing. This is a hard one for some people when they're new. So he really helps you move that belief to a higher belief in network marketing. Um, and then also a belief in the compensation plan, which again, Somebody like myself who had a really hard mindset with money because of being a teacher and my experience with money, learning how to understand money and my money mindset. So he works a lot on that with you. And then also the belief in yourself. And that's the biggest one. And that's the one that 
um, I think is the most continuous throughout this process. So university in action is also a must. I, I'm just gonna do a plug for that as well. You need to get to one um, and take people with you, do it with a group, it's amazing. And then obviously the last one is celebration. And this is just gonna be, again, a lot of personal development and a lot of um, tips and tricks and, and new tools and all that stuff, but it's really a celebration of your year. And you just don't wanna miss it. It's a really great way to wrap up the year and get pumped up for the new year. So those are the events, and I wanted to talk about them first because they are the most important tool for personal development. They are the most important. You do not want to try and do this without going to those events. I now go to all four events every single year. I told my husband, this is a must. I have to do this for myself. It's an investment in myself. Um, and then I get as many of my people there with me because it trains your people for you. It helps them understand the personal development. It helps them understand the importance of personal development without you having to tell them that. So get your people to these events. It's just such a big deal. I know you guys are hearing that like crazy right now, but it's such a big deal. So that is my first toolkit um, tool. Get to events. If, if there's no, you, it won't fail you. I promise. It absolutely won't fail you. So, okay. Number two, please read, please read. And even if you're not reading, listen to audiobooks. Okay. So I want to talk about a few of my favorites and most of them I have to say I've listened to on audio in the car or whatever, driving the kids back and forth. Um, and kind of a side note on that, all of them, when I listen to them in the car with the kids in the car, they listen. I just, that's sort of a side note, but just think about the power of that. Just think about that for a second. Like having the kids listening to personal development stuff at this age is so powerful. So number two is read. So my first book is GoPro. Eric Worre, who just did the Influencer uh, Summit, where Lauren and Kisa and Jen were, um, this is his book. And if you haven't read it, it's a short read, but it's an important one. So again, you can get it on audiobook for sure and just listen to it. It'll take you a couple of hours. Definitely worth it. Um, he just, co he goes through the basic steps of becoming a network marketing professional, and it really applies to all parts of business. So just understanding how it works. Um, but this is a must. So this is one of my tools. And I've read this more than once, you guys. So this is one of those books I've gone back to when I needed it for something different, a different lesson that I needed to learn. So this is definitely one of my go-to tools for personal development. Next is The Secret of the Millionaire Mind. I did not know about this book until Lauren um, recommended it to me because I do struggle so much with my money mindset. Um, and she said, you've got to, you need to read this one. And she was right. And reading this book was, um, life-changing. I, I read things in there that I never would have thought on my own. And so putting those things into practice has really changed the way I interact with money and the way I believe in money and the way I believe myself earning money. And those are important things because those can be roadblocks in your business and in your life. Um, it was a roadblock in my marriage. So this is a must and I have it literally sitting on my nightstand and I read pieces of it from time to time. This one I do have in hardcover um, because I think Lauren sent it to me actually. So thank you, Lauren. It's a good one. Okay, The Go-Giver. This one came to me a little bit later in my journey and I was so grateful for it because it talks about really the, the basic principle of this business, which is to give. We're really doing this to give people a gift and to, and to help guide them on this journey. And this book really talks about the power of giving. And if you want to receive anything in life, you need to give. And so it's just such a nice, um, it, it's not too intense. There's not a lot of, you know, tips and tricks and all that stuff. It just, it's a feel good book. You know, you read it and you're like, okay, that sounds like me. That sounds like something I can do. This is just so this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. And this is the business I want to build because I am a giver and this is, this is what I'm meant to do. So if you just need a feel good book, again, an easy read an easy listen, I actually listened to this one in the car. I can remember driving down the road, listening to, I can imagine where I was and everything. Cause it was just, you know, those books that just resonate with you. Um, but this is definitely one to have just to play when you're feeling kind of down or you're feeling a little disconnected from the business. Listen to this one. This one will really get you back on track. The last one, um, I know this is one of Lauren's favorites too, is the four agreements. And again, this is just a, it's a really good um, book that lays out four basic principles to just live by. And they seem obvious, right? But this book does a really good job of explaining what that looks like. How do you live these four agreements? How do you live a life 
of giving and compassion and all of these things. And then how do you apply it to any kind of business? So this is another one that I just have on my audio book and I'll just play it in the car. So those are my top four books. Again, I'm going to post these in the group and in dreamers so you can write them down and go check them out. Again, they're all super cheap on audio um, and super cheap on Amazon for hardcover to, or on paperback, whatever, but get these and have them on hand. Um, if you have a business builder who is struggling, send them one of these books. This is, these four are, you can't go wrong. Any of these books will impact them. So these are all great to send to teammates who are struggling or who are looking for personal growth, or maybe, um, you want to celebrate them and congratulate them on a rank advancement. Send them one of these books. It's a great gift to give somebody to have as their toolkit. Okay. Number three, podcasts. I did not listen to podcasts before Isogenics. I'm just gonna be honest. I didn't. Um, and I, I'm wishing that I had, cause now I'm addicted to them. Um, there's so many out there, you guys, there's so many, but I'm just going to touch on a few that are more specific to isogenics and to this industry. Um, but of course there are so many more and I hope actually in the group or somewhere we can have you guys post some of your favorites because I want to see what everybody else is listening to as well. But okay, the first one is isogenicspodcast.com. Hands down, you guys, you're going to find everything you need on this website. So I just browse through this. They've got wealth creation podcasts from top leaders in the company. They've got the science talks. For those of you that are super into the nutrition and the science behind the products, beautiful stuff because then you've got this knowledge in your head, which builds your confidence when you talk to people. So that's a really great one to have too. Um, and then transforming lives is the other topic that they have on this for podcasts. And that is just literally listening to transformation stories. And if you are again in a bad place, feeling disconnected from the business, hop on here and listen to some of these stories because you will be moved and you will remember why you're doing what you're doing. Um, it's just a tool. Again, it's a tool. You guys, if you find your mind wandering to negative places, use these, use these podcasts, plug into them, plug into them. Okay. The next one. Um, David, David T.S. Wood, the Isogenics Master Trainer, has his own podcast. Um, he got me through some of the hardest times when I was first building, really trying to understand what this even meant, what was network marketing, how does this work, what, what is personal development. This podcast was hands down my favorite just for mindset. Um, so if you go to AmplifiedNetworkMarketing.com, you'll see his whole list of ep ep uh, blah, sorry, episodes. Um, he has, I don't even know how many, I mean, almost a hundred, probably, if not more episodes. Yeah. Over a hundred episodes. It looks like, um, and it's from people all over the industry, not just specific to isogenics, just the industry. And it's going to help believe, help your belief, help, help, sorry, help build your belief in network marketing, because you're going to hear all of these success stories, people who, you know, were high school counselors and now they're multimillionaires, people that are um, you know, who were just average Joes, you guys, and struggling in every way. And now this is their life and they're impacting lives. I mean, it's just his stories and the way he interviews them will move you. So put this in your list. You will not regret it. You will become addicted to it. I'm not going to lie. Um, absolutely amazing. The last one, I wanted to put this in there because Tony Robbins impacted Isogenics this past year in ways that I don't even know if I can put into words. He came and did a training, and I know many of you were there um, at our last major corporate event, and it was hands down the most transformational experience of my life. You don't expect it. He's a massive dude, and he walks out on stage, and you don't know what he's gonna say or do, and it's intimidating, um, but he rocks your world, and he just, um, his podcasts are the same. You listen to him talk and interview these people and it's unbelievable what he has done in his life and the people of influence in his life that he works with. And it's just such an amazing um, uh, library of Tony Robbins knowledge. I mean, I just, I can't recommend it enough. I just have it on my phone and listen to it in the car, like I said before. So this one's a huge one too. So make sure you write this one down. Um, yeah, Tony Robbins, just amazing. So, okay. Last, um, healthy mind and body. I don't know how many of you guys have done healthy mind and body, but healthy mind and body is an isogenics, um, 
personal development online program that was created by Rod Harrison, who is an elite personal development trainer. And he came in and partnered with Isagenics to do this online training that people can use to work on their mindset, learning what their why is, their nutrition, their fitness, their all of their habits. And it's it's um, amazing that Isagenics provides this to you for free. So it's a free program. And I don't know how you could say no to something like that. And the trainings in it are so, so valuable and so powerful. Again, I can't believe it's free. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So if you haven't done it, you can get in on your, in your back office, you can sign up for it and get started tonight if you wanted to. So um, I highly recommend it. And this is a great way just to plug it into your daily life because he'll have daily activities for you to do um, that will really push you to be better than you have been. You know, it's just amazing. So those are the, let me get out of here for a second. Stop share. Technology. Okay. So those are my tools. Again, I'm going to post them in the group. I have a list of them with all the links and everything, but those are the tools that I literally go to. Um, I have the podcast saved on my phone. I've got all the audiobooks on my phone. Um, and like I said, when you feel like your, your mind is what your mindset is shifting somewhere negative, plug into a tool, plug into one of these things. Um, if you put good things into your head, good things are going to come out. So if you're constantly worrying, which is one of my bad habits, if you are in a place of fear, if you are always expecting the worst to happen, that's what will happen. And so if you can put good things into your head and if you can have these audiobooks playing, even while you're cooking dinner, you don't even have to be fully listening. Subconsciously, your mind is taking it in and you're surrounding yourself with positivity. Um, you're surrounding yourself with, you know, the knowledge of these amazing people who have been so successful um, in life, essentially, you know, so put it in your environment constantly, just put it around you and you will see a difference. I'm a totally different person than I was three years ago. And I attribute it to these things, events, podcasts, books, and this culture, this community, these people who constantly encourage me to keep growing and support me. Allow yourself to have a journey, you guys. It's not always going to be pretty. We're going to drop off sometimes. We're going to struggle. We're going to go through bad times. Um, I've done it many times, but I'm still here and I'm not going anywhere. But it happens and we have to be okay with that and we have to support each other in that. Um, but never give up. Never give up. There are so many ways to pull yourself out of that. Um, and we are all on a very emotional journey. This is something that not, if, ever, if this was easy, everybody would do it, right? Have you heard that before? If this was easy, everybody would do it. This isn't easy all the time. This is pushing you outside your comfort zone. This is making you be bigger than you ever thought you could be. That's emotional. To tell your spouse that this is what you're going to do, they didn't realize that was what you were going to do. They didn't, my husband did not see Alex doing this. So to have conversations with him about the person I want to be, that's hard. That's hard. And so you have to be in a mindset to be able to say that to people so that they believe you. Because if you don't believe it yourself, nobody else is going to believe it. So grow. But start believing it. Work on your belief. But allow yourself to have hard times too and plug into this group. Plug into the tools. You guys, it, this journey is never ending. Never ending. Like I said before, you're always going to go back. You're going to think, you know, I may never have trouble talking to somebody about the comp plan again but you better believe I'm still having trouble understanding how I'm supposed to make good money because I'm not worth it yet. Those things I'm still working on. There are still deep rooted things that I'm still working on and those things will continue to happen, but never stop, never stop, never stop. So that's it for me tonight, you guys. I just wanted to pour into the tools because um, I know a lot of you guys have your own and I just wanted to share with you what's worked for me. Um, and then some of you are brand new and I want you to know that there are things out there that will help and I'm going to share those with you guys. So I'll make sure to post them in the Dreamers in Action group.
as well. So that's it. Carl, you're awesome. This was so good. And thank you for the PowerPoint and the things you guys are going to share. You didn't see me typing that last little bit that Alex is chatting about, you know, you got to fill your mind with greatness and, um, you know, making sure, Rachel, why are you blowing on your hands like you're cold and you're the one that lives in Mexico? Oh my gosh. I'm like, do you want to see, oh, I'm like, do you want to come to Colorado? Cause I'm like, what is happening? I'm like, you're not here. You're the one that lives on the beach. Um, but I wrote out the four focus laws and that's what you focus on. You find what you focus on, um, what you focus on grows, what you focus on, you believe and what you focus on, you ultimately become. And that's why, you know, you meet people who bad things are always happening to them and they never find a parking spot and they always have something break and someone always breaks up with them and someone's always mad at them. And it's negative, 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 negative. Right. And that's what they focus on. And guess what they attract more of? I mean, that law of attraction, what you think about, you bring about. So if it's good, you're going to get more of that. And if it's bad, you're going to get more of that. And when you are someone who's positive and you start with gratitude and you start with appreciation instead of expectation and you're focused on the positives and you're focused on all the great things and having thankfulness, it's like you always get that front row parking spot and someone's always thinking of you and you have great meetings and great relationships and great friendships and good things happen to you and it's starting with exactly what she says. And so just remember that, that you have two choices in the morning. You can listen to the news and live in a state of fear. You can listen to a podcast and choose to be motivated and choose to be ambitious and when we talk about writing our goals and writing our intentions, because then you focus on what you want instead of focusing on what you don't have. And it's little things that healthy mind and body will show you every single day, you know, how to kind of create those habits. But I've had the privilege and journey of, or privilege and honor of watching Alex's journey literally from day one into who she is now and blossom into the leader that she's become. And this was awesome. I'm so proud of you. There's no doubt in my mind, you are well on your way to being a multiple six figure income earner. And thank you for just pouring into this team. So you guys are awesome. Um, I really, really appreciate all of you guys being on and we will see you next week. Go crush cookies and cream and um, onward to that board. It's a great, great, great call. Love you, girl.